Does your trolling motor draw a different amount of amps if you're on speed one or five? I'm gonna solve that mystery today. I'm here to solve the mystery of how much amperage your trolling motor draws depending on the speed you have. There's a school of thought that says the amperage draw is constant no matter what the speed and the excess is burnt off as heat. The other school says, no, 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 the amperage is different depending on the speed you have it set at. Well, I'm here, I've got access to a pool and I'm gonna solve that mystery today. So I made a rig to hold the motor and I could put it on the ledge that's in the pool. And then I've got my meter right here that'll show us the number of amps that are being drawn hooked to a 100 amp hour battery. And then that runs to the motor. So I'm gonna try it on all five settings and we'll see what the meter reads in terms of amperage draw. Pretty definitive in terms of the result, but more interesting is look at the jump between level four and level five. You're pulling twice the amps at level five as you are at level four. Well, there's a definitive answer. You don't have to worry about your trolling motor drawing the constant number of amps depending on your speed. It is actually a variable draw, at least it is with my Newport trolling motor. And this is important when it comes to sizing your trolling motor battery. If you're gonna run it on speed five, you're gonna have a heavy draw, but if you're going at one, two, three, then it's gonna last you a lot longer, but it'll take you longer to get to where you're going. Comments, have you guys tested something like this? If so, throw it down below. Thanks.